What's up, everybody? Welcome to Morbid Curator Podcast. I'm your host, Rock Corpse. On this episode, we're going to be talking about John Carpenter's The Thing. And with me today, I have the very special, one and only, Monster Hunter, Evil Slayer, Science Bro. What's up, man? What's up, man? Glad to be back. Yeah, Hang man. It was, it was so much fun last time. I, I had to have you back on, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got some time. The weekend's pretty, uh, you know, prime mon- monster monster hunting time but you know i have a few times it's, it's not that late yet yeah i was gonna so, ask you know i was gonna ask you how your uh monster hunting's been going on and stuff how's, uh, how's that going it's never it's never a dull moment let me tell you it's just i can't get into it too much because i can't give away the <laughs> the recipe you know the oh yeah recipe. yeah i don't want to i don't want to ask too much about it <laughs> well, yeah because those, those damn those damn monsters they like to listen to the show you know and then they'll get all my they'll figure it out and then yeah i'll be you know then and it's your fault if I die. So you yeah, yeah, that's understandable. I can't, I can't, I would never be able to live with that. So I would we'll just, uh-huh. I we'll just go straight into it, man. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be talking about the thing. Do you know what thing I'm talking about? The thing, the thing, that the 1982 one thing. thing. Yeah, 1982 John Carpenter, man. That's badass director, man. He's, yeah. Would you, so you watched it, right? Yes. Oh man, I've seen this movie many times, many times. I love it. I, uh, I think, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not the best, science fiction movie ever. Uh, even crossover with horror, I guess. So, but uh, I love it. I love the performances. I, I love the soundtrack. Uh, it's, the soundtrack, especially, is like very intense and yeah, and, yeah. You know, foreboding. It's uh, it's awesome stuff. Yeah, I also enjoyed it a lot. Um, it kind of reminded me a lot of From Beyond, just how the like the mutations and stuff. It just reminded me a lot of the H.P. Lovecraft uh, From Beyond. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a I, lot of bo- body horror. In this yeah, movie. the body there's... horror, and it was it was that's that's my th- I love like body horror stuff. So that that caught my attention pretty good <laughs> this was i mean i don't you know i don't want to out you at, you know not out you but like a you're a big horror fan but from what i understand this is the first time you've ever seen this movie yeah, right yes it is and i'm very disappointed in myself for not watching this sooner That's especially I mean. <laughs> especially how much of a horror fanatic i am i'm it's it's weird that i haven't seen it yet to be honest with you so but well, now you did and now you can sleep better tonight so, yeah, I want to thank the voters for voting for it and pushing me to watch it because it was it was awesome. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, it, I don't know, just for, even from the beginning, you know, with they're in Antarctica and it's set in 1982, which is ironic because it came out in 1982. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's just it caught uh, the dog was just running through the snow and there's a helicopter just shooting at it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and so you don't you don't really know much like at first what's going on yeah they kind of just jump right into it yeah um, there's no you know they don't yeah. introduce anybody right off the rip or nothing it's just real right into it like why is this the helicopter chasing this dog and you're speaking norwegian yeah I nor- think? yep norwegian so and then you know you don't know what they're saying i mean you do if you speak norwegian because they you know you kind of i think it spoils the whole movie as a matter of fact, because it the guy, it's been a while since I've seen it, but the person shooting at the dog before they shoot him say something about how it's an alien or a monster or something. So the whole movie, I mean, if you can understand the Norwegian, you uh, you get the whole movie spoiled for you. <laughs> that, that's actually so. a cool fun fact. Um, I I didn't know that. That's awesome, dude. That was before the internet, and you know, people couldn't. <laughs> right. You know, people didn't know back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, they end up the norwegians uh end up circling the it's the american research camp site and they're just circling it trying to get this dog they're just shooting at the dog and then eventually they land and the you know he's speaking norwegian or whatever and the americans are like what the hell is this dude saying you know what i mean like they're why is he on our campsite shooting at (laughs) this dog let's just let's just shoot him yeah. We don't know. Well, <laughs> like he's, he's shooting though at him too. So yeah, he was shooting. You know. Yeah, and it was funny. Um, the dude in the helicopter has a bomb, and he goes to throw it at the Americans, and it goes backwards and blows up his 
his own helicopter. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Um, so that, that, that was funny. That's amazing. It all started when they, after the Norwegians, like, you know, the dude got shot and everything. The main character, uh, McGrady, he, him and I think, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Copper or something. Um, mm-hmm. They go, like, go check out their, uh, the Norwegians campsites. And they find, like, alien spaceships that are like being dug up or something yeah it's like in the ice and i'm trying to remember exactly what they they found some remember oh yeah that's right they they go in there into the campsite and they see a dead body and there's like frozen blood coming off of his hand and all this stuff and they're like what the hell and stuff and they go walking around and they see like a deformed thing and they bring it back with them. It was like right. a body. And uh, the, the the doctor did an autopsy on it. And come to find out, it has human organs. So they're like, they, you know, it makes no sense. This thing is like deformed, but it has human, you know, it has a heart. It has kidneys, liver. <laughs> so they're like, what the hell? And Didn't it, uh, was it, correct me if I'm wrong, because you even, like watched it recently and it's fresh in your brain. Didn't they like have different DNA too, or not DNA or something? Like they knew it was different people mixed together, or like thinking of something completely. Like later in the movie, they realize um, the one doctor Blair realizes that it could be, you know, it, this thing imitates uh, other organisms. Mm-hmm. So he's like, he did his scientific stuff and, you know, found out like, I'm, I don't know exactly, but like 75, let's just say 75% of the people, you know, in, I'm, I think in that camp could have, you know, could have it, could, could be an imitation, not like, not a real person. Right. So, and it, and it like freaked them out. And he um, goes on a rampage and just like starts destroying the their chopper and he slaughtered all the rest of them dogs which we got to get to that also the the dog scene that that was awesome um and he just goes crazy and they lock him in that tool shed right and that was um what was his name wolford brimley he's the guy that does all well he's i think he's still i don't know if he's still alive anyways he did all like the diabetes commercials you ever see those Uh uh-uh (laughs) <laughs> he did a whole bunch of diabetes commercials back in the day and he's just been old forever yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh he yeah. just died a couple of years ago actually I, I, I looked it up oh really the power wow of google yeah. he he played a good part i mean he went psycho there for a minute when he realized that anybody you know that was one of the biggest things about this movie is they found out that they couldn't trust anybody they didn't know who was the thing or uh, they didn't know much about it. it all they, right. all that they knew is that it, um, it could imitate other organisms. So anybody mm-hmm. and anything could be the thing, you know. Right. So very par- lot of lot of paranoia going on. Yeah. In the in the in the movie, that's for sure. And like you say, like you were mentioning about those dogs, you know, the whole crazy scene with the dogs and the cages, and it's amazing because you can tell the other dogs know something's wrong. Yeah. They're trying I- to get out of the cage and biting through the cage and everything else and yeah that's uh, the other thing for the followers to know is that the dog was acting weird the whole time like right as soon as um that norwegian uh helicopter finally blew up and they took the dog in the americans took the dog in and basically the dog was just running around free for you know hours and just minding his own business but he was just being weird even i as like the watch uh, watcher of the movie was mm-hmm. like there's something wrong with this dog or something like what what's going on because he just was acting weird and then uh i believe his name is clark uh he was the dude that took care of the other dogs that they had there in the kennel and stuff and he brought the dog to the kennel with all the other ones and he <laughs> i can't can't even explain. He, he the other dogs started barking right they knew something well, he was up. Care, yeah he takes care of the dogs so he's like got a connection with them and he you know he didn't yeah 
when the other guys that you know obviously their first instinct which probably any of us would be would be to kill those things because they're acting crazy and he you know he's like yeah he's he trying to do anything but that yeah yeah exactly and when the dog um did you know his face kind of split open and he became some deformed the thing you know the right. dog version of the thing uh and he was tr- he was trying to grab the other dogs. I I think to like imitate those dogs also, kind of. Yeah, I think uh, he, like to infect them. You know. Yeah, infect them and um, make himself bigger. I thought maybe right. or something. Um, right. And you know they heard all the commotion and stuff, and I think it was Mac that went in there with the flamethrower. Right. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. And torched, you know, torched his ass, the, the dog. Torched them all. Yeah, torched them all. And, or he actually shot. I remember he shot okay. one of the normal dogs. Mm. And uh, Clark was like, no, 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 you know, freaking out. Cause he's he like, didn't know what was going on. He didn't yeah. want the dog to get killed. Cause, yeah. You know. Yeah, he, yeah. you know, kills the, he ends up killing the dog thing. And they, do an autop? Do they do an autopsy on the dog? They kind of. I think I forget. It, it, like I said, it's been a, a minute since I've seen it. I think they do, but I mean, I, the effects that they did, the practical effects on that, you know, with the dog and all that, that was just yeah. To this day, I mean, that's. I think that's one of the things people love about this movie. It, you know, besides the story, is is the practical effects because I know oh, that yeah. was what they. Yeah, they did like a. I don't know, 2011. They did a prequel i guess uh, some say it's a remake some say it's a prequel i don't know but that's one of the reasons it was not liked because they used a lot of computer generated effects uh it wasn't practical you know so it didn't look as good but i guess they had a bunch of practical effects but the producers or somebody threw it out one of the new cgi or, i don't know maybe one of your listeners will know the correct story on that but, yeah yeah but yeah but he knows uh, awesome. let us know yeah yeah because the, the effects in this movie are like just like top notch especially yeah I, dude for an 80s movie it was it was awesome i really the mm-hmm. the body horror was just like phenomenal it was awesome that, the gore and oh yeah even like one of my favorite parts every time still every time i watch it is when um uh copper is on top trying to bring uh vance norris back when he's you know doing whatever's happening to him he's like Doing the chest compressions on his, or not the, oh. the chest compressions. Or the, it was uh, the defibrillator thing. Yeah, the defibrillator. Yeah, and his arms go. His arms yeah, go his arms. That thing, and it's like teeth, and he rips his arms out. He's like, "Oh my god!" He brings his arms up, and yeah. his blood just flurred out of him. Yeah, and that was. Yeah, awesome. I love that part. That's every time I, I'm yeah. always like expecting it, but it still is always every time I see it, it always just like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that, that's probably got to be uh, my favorite part of the movie. Also, yeah. That, that was, that was awesome. Yeah, that's when the head the head rolls off and like becomes its own thing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's trying to get out of the way. It's I don't want to. I don't know if it's the tongue or what it is. A, a tentacle is you know. Yeah, it comes out of cra- mouth, It's like, like crawling, crawling. and uh, Mac, the main character, notices it and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh yeah, well that's well, him and that's like the look on his face, and then Palmer. He's like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's remember? Right. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, that's that was uh, classic. They torched the hell out of that thing. It squeals. Yeah, yeah, they oh, yeah. torched that, and then uh, it gets to the point where, uh, like we talked about earlier, where nobody can trust anybody. So they decide that well, why don't they use? the blood that they have like the normal blood that they have stored um to like run tests to see to use their you know the blood that they had stored plus their blood and see if it matches right them. yeah and um well they heat it up right they, they heat the, the metal up and I yeah guess, they uh, use the flamethrower to heat up a, a wire right. and they they had all these samples of blood and of each person each character in the movie they had a sample and um apparently if you stuck the heated wire into the blood if if they're infected the blood will react to the heat right because i think because it's the thing that it's in the blood you know so it's like a living thing yeah reacting to the 
the heat, you know, that science, bro. That yeah, that's to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, if you want to know the science part about it, go to science bros. Uh, yeah. <laughs> go to sciencebros.com. <laughs> I will say this is, this is, uh, Swedo science that's in this movie. It's not real science. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not science for science. Um, but yeah, that, that part's always awesome because they're, they're all strapped to that. They're all strapped to that bench or whatever. Yeah. Going crazy and then. Um, I'm and it, of course. Oh spoilers, yeah. But, um. Uh huh. The I remember Clark also in this in the same scene. Uh, Clark, the dude who um, was really interested with the dogs and all that. He he he's been acting weird the whole movie, kind of like you yeah. kind of you get like a um, you kind of suspect him to be the thing also, right? And when uh, Mac was going crazy and stuff, and you know he's trying to figure out who's who and with the blood samples and all this, um, Clark the, he apparently doesn't trust Mac, and he takes out a knife. Mm-hmm to try and attack him uh mac i'm pretty sure shoots him straight in the head oh that's right yeah uh, he shoots um clark right in the head and it's pretty messed up they find out that uh clark was human the whole time right and so this just whole par- time you're just paranoid like everybody else was. yeah yeah everybody is just thing. paranoid and mm-hmm. i never expected it um it was palmer palmer was was the thing he was he had he was infected with the thing and he uh the dude with the he always had the headphones on and the like oh yeah he's the one that got eaten pretty yeah, much. The, yeah oh was he the <laughs> one that was infected or no no but he's the one that got he tried to attack um he tried to attack palmer who was the one infected and and the the thing picked him up and like yeah, Pretty yeah. Much, he didn't bite his head off. He like, like he, he, he like over or something. I don't know yeah, he was. like he <laughs> he like took a bite of him and like up. lifted him up and was just like yeah. chugging him. I always kinda. expect for him to like pull up, pull him out, and like half of his body's gone, but it's not. It's just kind of like bloody and like he's been maybe chewed up a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of yeah, like. So... Um, mm-hmm. They uh, take care of that. Uh, you know, they once again use the flamethrower, I'm pretty sure, on them. Uh, or set them on fire. Don't they set them on fire or something? Well, well, he can't. He's trying to get the thing lit. He can't get the flamethrower lit. So, yeah, uh, I think they yeah. just light them up. It's like I said, it's been a while. Yeah, but... it goes. It, it's um, I've only seen it the one time. So I'm just going off of just memory. Right. Once the movie gets going, it kind of goes quick with the the killings and the mutations and stuff so right it's hard to keep you know them separated i guess but yeah, yeah that's a, what are you gonna mm-hmm. say no I, i'm just gonna say i mean this movie and it never gets boring for me i don't know i like to watch it over and over and i know it does kind of at the beginning it's a little maybe slower for some people but i mean i, I don't know i just this would be just fantastic and yeah, I um, love it. Yeah, I I really liked it too. Um, the only the th- I don't know. I don't think I have any. I'm trying to think of anything that I didn't really like about it. I guess yeah, the beginning was a little slow. I really loved the body horror of it. Like I really yeah. that was awesome. That pretty much yeah, made yeah. it to me, you know, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I really don't have too much. The ending, I guess, was kind of just. It just like kind of ended. It kind of well, that's me... what it. Yeah, it lets you wonder. That's what I was going to bring up. Sorry, because like a lot of people always still people still debate this to this day, and I, and I think John Carpenter cleared it up supposedly. I don't know how much truth there is to that. I didn't see it or hear it for myself, but because you know, I guess when like they're talking outside and they're just going to sit there, whatever, whatever they say, we're just going to sit and see what happens or sit here. Yeah, when, it's um, um, it's Mac and uh, Child. Yeah. Yeah, and then Childs, I guess you can't see like breath. I think it is like you know because it's cold. Yeah, when he talks. You can't see it, so people are saying, "Oh yeah, he's the one infected at the end." Oh, McR- okay. Or McReady says, "Yeah, you can see his breath." Okay. So, see, I never, I didn't notice that. So when I was watching it, you know, um, 
McGreddy, he like lit the place up. Uh, everything exploded and stuff, and he's walking, stumbling outside. And then him and Childs, um, you know, Childs walks out, and McGrady's like, "Where have you been?" Right. And and Childs is like, "Well, you know, I thought I seen Blair, um, so I went to go find him, but I got lost in the storm." Yeah, kind of iffy, you know. Like, yeah, well, yeah. That so that doesn't it's, sound right. Yeah, so that kind of made me think. I'm like, wait a minute, you know, that's kind of sketchy, dude. You haven't been here this whole time, like all this is right. going on. And then he just kind of sits down, and McGrady's just like. You know, why it doesn't he's like, it doesn't even matter anymore, basically, you know, like, let's just sit here. If it happens, it happens. What, you know, whatever. He was just basically just ready to die. I think, you know, like Pretty much. there wasn't really I mean, they're, gonna, they're probably going to freeze to death anyways out there. I mean, what yeah, are they gonna do? yeah, because the that, that was the other thing that I forgot to mention was they were like torching the whole place to get heat um, so they didn't freeze to death because <laughs> didn't the power go out or something? I believe so. I think so. So they were they were going around like dumping gas and stuff and just lighting all kinds of shit on fire to to get the heat going. Yeah. And and that's what uh, Childs was saying at the end. I think he was um or uh, McGrady. I mean, he was. You know, we're gonna once the fire goes out, we're dead anyway. So just whatever. It just caught me off guard that it just kind of just it like ended like that. You know, I was. I it ended and that so that that might be my only thing that I was kind of like damn that kind of sucks because it just uh leaves you kind of just you don't it's kind of up to interpretation I guess yeah which I guess I mean, is kind of cool which is cool also that could be it makes people talk about it like we're talking about it now yeah keep yeah. going on and living on forever yeah <laughs> so you gotta think about it like that one of my favorite little bits of trivia about this is like. I guess it, when it first came out, it wasn't very successful. You know, it was it didn't make a lot of money, and it was because they say one of the, it was because ET came out the same year before it though, and like it was such a family friendly like aliens are you know are fun yeah are, are friends so now people didn't want to go see this movie <laughs> where <laughs> aliens are like you know the exact opposite and try to imitate you and take over the world. Yeah, I could oh, see. I don't know why. I love that. I could see how that kind of took over the fame right. movie. But yeah, man, what would you rate this movie? Oh, this one is on a scale of one, to, one to what? One to ten. What would you rate this? One to ten. I, I, me, I like, I love it. I think it's at least an eight and a half, maybe a nine. Awesome. Yeah, I, I would, I would agree with. Uh, mine would be either more of like a seven to eight, but I'm gonna go with an eight. On my yeah, dude, yeah, it was it was good. I'm I'm really happy I watched it, and I'm I wish I would have seen it sooner. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't. I've heard of it, I just never got around to watching yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more we can, you know talk about this for hours, but it's just there's so much to it. And, but, uh, but yeah, yeah it was I mean, like it was a two hour long movie. That's it was a good, especially for back then. That was a long time back then. Not like now, you know, you got your Marvel movies that are two and a half hours. It's yeah, a big deal. <laughs> yeah definitely like, dude, not many films were like that there was but not very many yeah i was i was surprised when i was you know i was watching it and uh i I was just happened to look what you know how long it was and it was like right. an hour and 45 to, or 50 minutes i'm like holy shit dude <laughs> get up there but, get up there but it goes quick man like it uh yeah. it, it keeps you engaged and um you just want to see more of the more of the thing <laughs> right right i want to see what it looks like without being in the side of anybody <laughs> right yeah yeah that was you, know, my, that, you know but that was the whole thing that's the mystery part of it but yeah yeah that is a good i didn't i never thought about that that's something i'm not i'm gonna lose sleep now thanks man yep yeah you're welcome Sorry. <laughs> trying to think about right. what it would look like without it. <laughs> my job here is done <laughs> right. but yeah thanks man for uh coming on i think i'm gonna wrap it up here and of course, um, anytime, man. Yeah, let me. Get, I gotta keep going. Gotta, gotta get gotta sharpen up my axe before I go out and and hunt the hunt the monsters. And there's a lot of evil out tonight. The weekend, oh, yeah. like I said, it's in, it doubles up on the weekend. So I might probably won't, probably won't get much sleep tonight. Yeah, between that, you... between that and whoever I bring home later on, it'll be <laughs> it'll be a long night. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, if you ever need Rock Corpse for any uh 
monster slaying. I'll, you know, I can come out there with you, and I'm, I'm sure Hell you yeah, can get the ropes on that. Hell yeah, train you. All right, I'll, I'll catch you later. All right, later, man. Before I get off here, I just want to say thank you to all my followers and everybody who votes every week on the movie or comic I'm going to be discussing for that week. I really appreciate it. Just keep on subscribing and liking and sharing all the posts. And remember, either get hip or rot. Peace out, guys.